Chronic myeloid leukemia is a slowly progressing cancer of the blood and bone marrow that makes the body produce too many white blood cells, which do not mature and crowd out the healthy cells. There are limited therapeutic options for adult patients who fail or are intolerant to prior therapy, including Gleevec. For these patients, Health Canada has approved with conditions under the notice of compliance with condition policy, a new medication called Sprycell. Dr. Jeff Lipton, medical oncologist and associate professor of medicine at the University of Toronto, specializes in the treatment of patients with CML. For patients with chronic myeloid leukemia, they've had a very good treatment around now on the market for more than five years, which for most of them would control their disease and allow them to live pretty good lives. For about 20 to 30 percent of these patients, they can't take the drug for various reasons or the drug doesn't work very well. And for those patients, the option is Spricel. It's a multi-targeted inhibitor, so it works at a number of sites in the abnormal cell. It will control the disease. We hope for a very long period of time. It won't cure them, but if it allows them to live a normal life for a long time, it's just as good. Spricel is an oral treatment and unique to other treatments because it targets the cancerous cells without compromising healthy cells. Patient support groups like the Leukemia Lymphoma Society are excited about the immediate impact the newly approved treatment will have for CML patients. Rudy Puttins, chief executive officer of the LLS, says their whole philosophy is to offer support and hope. When a patient hears that their treatment isn't working for them, their world stops. All they know is that they're losing hope. And fortunately, research and development doesn't stop. So new treatments are available. And now there's a new one that's available for CML patients who haven't responded. Spry cells now available. This approval by Health Canada is of particular significance to patients who have failed or are intolerant to previous treatments. Andre Bolderev has been living with CML. Being told I had uh, leukemia, cancer of the blood, was devastating. Not only for me, but for my entire family. However, with faith, there's always hope. And so for a period of four years, I tried uh, different treatments, but with limited success, they only worked temporarily. Cheryl Ann Simino, president and CEO of the CML Society, also thinks this new treatment will have a positive impact on patients. Of course, the ultimate goal is a cure. And I think what most patients are happy about is with Spricel, we have another option to help keep us healthy while researchers look for a cure. People who want to learn more about Spricel should talk to their doctor. Martin Vanderwood reporting.